Mr. Noel, I want to talk now about something which I think is very close to your heart, mm. and that is to return the governor to Government mm. House. Mm. You were, I recall, in Macquarie Street in uh, 1996 when there was a very large demonstration, I think one of the largest peaceful demonstrations mm. that the city had seen, where people from all over New South Wales protested against Bob Carr's extraordinary decision to expel the governors from their purpose-built home. We were right on the doorstep of Government House. We actually, that's where the protest started uh, there, and I was very pleased to be there because not only you could say it's a just an administrative thing, you know, just shifting, to me it's, it's had a far more subtle implication to undermine the independence of the governor. The governor operating in Government House is an independent person and they, they must have that independence. In other words, uh, the governor could invite you down privately for advice on some constitutional issue and you could quietly visit the governor and no one would be aware. But putting the governor into a bureaucratic office, which is the old colonial secretary's office in Macquarie Street, means that the Labor government really has a control over the governor, who she sees, what she's doing. She's, she's lost that privacy of her independence. Uh, she could have you down for afternoon tea, for example, see? and there'd be no suspicion that you were giving her advice. But now I believe she's compromised. She or who you were as the governor. That's why I'm pleased the coalition government had promised uh, they will restore the governor, the government house. So, but we have to promote that and make sure the coalition do it as well. Yes, I think it's very important. I agree with you. Bob Carr gave his reasons, uh, they were, and I think they were spurious, that it was going to save money, that mm. it was going to reduce pomp, and the governor was going to be part-time, you might recall. That's right. Mm. All of this proved to be completely mm. unachievable, and it proved to be more ex expensive That's than right. keeping the governor there. But after he resigned as mm. Premier, he dropped a bombshell. He gave a speech in which he referred to, he said it was about the reserve powers, which I think corroborates entirely what you're mm. saying, yes. that it was to compromise the governor. Yes, oh, I believe that was the reason. I, always, I have always believed that. Uh, for the governor to actually exercise their rights and powers, they must be guaranteed that independence. And Government House is the governor's headquarters. Mm. And I've been down to uh, the office of the Colonial Secretary's old office. It, it treats the governor as an administrative person, like a clerk. She has an office there provided by the government. It's not, it, it actually diminishes the authority of the governor. Now every other state has government houses and when members of the royal family and other important people come, they get greeted and hosted and, and even stay there. And yet you can't really do that here in New South Wales in the way they use the government house. And worse than that, they rent out government house for every kind of event, including Mardi, Mardi Gras events and so on. And really to me, makes a mockery of the importance of Government House. And the, the final thing is, I think what the Labor government's trying to do is say is, Government House is ours. We're the government, that's our house. It's not the Government House, it's the Governor's House. But I know it has on it governor's, the Governor's uh, House, but it's really, it is the Governor, not the Government.